Hi, my name is John Harmon. I'm the BYU Microsoft Student Partner, and I just wanted to walk you through step by step how you can access your free training material and your free certification exams through Students to Business. First, we're going to open up a web browser. We're going to go to s2b.experience.com. If you haven't already joined, you can click on this Join Now button and I already have so I'm just gonna go ahead and log in and you can use your same e-recruiting username and password to join so once you've logged in you can post your resume here you can view Microsoft S2B jobs just really quick I'll show you this you can also you see the beginner developer learning series training material here like if I wanted to do web development I could click here and then there's three different tiers of training material and the videos are about 20 to 25 minutes a piece and you can see once you get into tier 2 and tier 3 there's absolute beginners series lessons there as well so browse around that when you get a chance I want to show you right now how you can access the free training material to prepare you for the free certification exam that Microsoft offers to students you're going to want to click on this e-learning courses link right here and this is going to bring you to DreamSpark now you can also get there, if I open up a new window, you can get there going directly to, to DreamSpark. And then just click on Get Training. And you want to click on this link for IT Academy Student Pass. It's going to bring you to the exact same window that we have up right now. Just so you know if you want to go back through a different path. So what we'll do is go ahead and sign in you have to have a live ID to do this so I'll go ahead and sign in once I'm signed in I'm gonna to wanna to go down to verify now I have to verify that I'm a student so I'll go ahead and select my continent select the country and then if you have a little card with an activation code on it go ahead and enter that there you can also try and select your school if your school is not in the list you'll have to and you don't have a card then you'll have to go through this process here you'll actually have to add DreamSpark to a shopping cart and it, it'll say it'll charge you a dollar or two but it really won't charge you anything it's, it's when you add it to the shopping cart and you go through the checkout process it's going to email you an activation code if you don't already have it on a, a card that was given to you by a student partner. So I'm going to go ahead and enter this activation code in right now. and then click continue and so now it says that I've successfully verified my student status so I'll go ahead and click all products to download so now that I've verified myself as a student my next step is to get a key so when I click get key it will generate this key just go ahead and copy that and then click here it says to redeem your access code at the IT Academy student pass website okay so I'll click on that button Now, before I do this, I'm going to open up another tab or another window. And there's a site here that will show you the different paths or yeah, the five certification paths that you can go down to to to, to do your exam. So you can either do Windows developer, web developer, database developer, Windows Server IT professional or Windows client IT professional. This site right here, make note of the URL. If you go to it, you can scroll down and you can see for instance if I wanted to do Windows Developer these are the courses that I would uh, take to prepare myself for the exam exam 70-536 so decide your path now which one of the five you want to do and make note of the exam and also the 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 course numbers that will prepare you for that exam because you'll need that information later on when you wanna actually go through the training and sign up for the exam
So that's all we need that page for. I'll go ahead and paste this code in here and submit it. Again, I have to sign in. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in all, all my information here. So this next part is rather important. Now you want to select your interests. Uh, the, the programming language topics you're interested in and the technology areas you're interested in that associate with the path that you want to go to because based on what you're interested in then it will give you uh, the courses that are related to what you're interested in um, and then you can take those courses that will prepare you for the exam so if I want to do web development for instance you know I'll, I'll click visual basic um, uh, you know ASP.NET HTML, maybe SQL, and then technology areas I'm interested in Visual Studio, .NET Framework, SQL Server, Web Development, Web Services. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and click Finish. So once you've logged in, you have access to these different lesson material. So if I click Core Web Client Programming, it'll bring me in and now I have a whole bunch of courses that I can access. If you want to see a demo here, there's a really good interactive demo that will show you the site that's built on Silverlight. So that's how you access the training material that will prepare you for the certification exam. Now let's take a look at how you actually get to the certification exam and sign up for it. So if we go back to DreamSpark, we click on Get Training. This time we're going to click on Microsoft Certified Technology Specialist link. And you can go down here. So I'm already signed in. So it says uh, step two is get your voucher code by selecting the get key button below. Go ahead and do that. And then step three says print out a screenshot showing the voucher code and bring with you to the exam appointment. So just make a screenshot of this, print it out, whatever, and be sure you have this with you when you go to take your exam. So next step is to register for your exam at the Prometric website. So if I click on Prometric, you can scroll down and it says, hello students, if you made it this far, you should have your DreamSpark voucher code printed out, which is what we just have, uh, which, which is what we just got. So the next step is, well, first let's take a look down here. We'll see that vouchers must be redeemed by June 30th, 2009. This means you must register and take the exam before this date. So I recommend going ahead and registering for your test right now. You do that by clicking start and then you can locate a test site, you can schedule an appointment and reschedule there if you need to as well. So hopefully by this point you have everything you need to prepare for the exam and take the free certification exam. If you have any questions with any of this process or you have any problems go ahead and email skills at microsoft.com and they'll be able to help you to get whatever you need.